upon a time in a faraway land, a young prince lived in a shining castle. Although he had everything his heart desired, the prince was spoiled, selfish, and unkind. But then one night, an old beggar boy came to the castle and offered him a single robe in return for shelter from the bitter cold. Repulsed by her haggard appearance, the prince feared the gift to turn the old woman away. But she warned him not to be deceived by appearances, for beauty lies within. And when he dismissed her again, the old woman's ugliness melted away to reveal a beautiful enchantress. The prince tried to apologize, but it was too late, for she had seen that there was no love in his heart. As punishment, she transformed him into a hideous beast and placed a powerful spell on the castle and all who lived there. Ashamed of his monstrous form, the beast concealed himself in the castle where the magic mirror is his only window to the outside world. The rose she had offered was truly an enchanted rose, which would bloom for many years. If he could learn to love another and earn their love in return by the time the last spell fell, then the spell would be broken. If not, he would be doomed to remain at least for all our time. As the years passed, he fell into despair and lost all of his For who could ever learn to love?
Like from the moment when I met her, saw her, I said she's gorgeous and I fell. Here in town there's only she, it's beautiful and sweet, so I'm making plans to do with men. No matter what you 
possibly know about my brains, Gaston? Plenty! One dream nearly all your life.
Look at us. Look at you. What about me? You always were insufferable. Every day you become a little more inflexible, a little more tightly wound, a little more ticked off. Please spare me the stupid puns. Please, we are not far gone as some of the others. You remember what happened to Michelle? She was most to be made about her looks, and now that's exactly what she's become. A vanity little troll of mere thoughts. And poor Jean-Claude. Who? Jean-Claude, do you remember him? Not too bright, dumbass. A brick. The whole wall. Jean-Claude's a brick wall. Yes. That's him over there in the kitchen just behind the stove. Slowly but surely we all gradually become things. But why did we have to get dragged into this whole spell business anyway? It's not like we were the ones who threw that poor ever woman out of here. But are we not responsible too for making the masters the way he is? I suppose. Eventually I will melt away into nothing. I just hope there's something left of me if Samantha ever breaks this spell. Hold oh, on, old man. Go oh, on. Hello? Is anyone here? Hello? It's a girl. Get the boys. I can see it's a girl. It's a girl.
I'll show you to your room. My room? I thought... Do you want to stay in the dungeon? No. Then follow. You follow me. This is your home now. You're free to go anywhere you like. Except for the West Wing. Why? What's in the West Wing? It's forbidden! You are never to step foot there. Do you understand? Do you understand? Yes! This is your room. You'll be comfortable here. If you need anything, my servants will attend you. And one last thing. You will join me for dinner. That is not a request.
I will admit that it was the Royal Opera. He himself was there. Of course, I would have a prayer if it was the now. Take it. Uh, that's very kind of you, but I'm not going to dinner. Well, of course you are. You heard what the master said. He may be your master, but he's certainly not mine. Oh, I'm sorry. This is all happening so fast.
Oh, not not the Dumas dog ones. Not a minute to lose. He's got to bail. He's locked in a dungeon. Oh, whoa! Who's got bail locked in a dungeon? It's a beast.
compliments. And above all, what? You must control your temper. Well, where is she?
the rest. So close your up, hands on the Why we only live to serve. Try the phrase of It's delicious. Don't believe me, ask the dishes. They can see, they can learn. After all, this, this is friends. And the dinner here is never second best. Go on and fold your menu. Take a glance and then you'll be our guest. We are guests.
I'm sorry. I didn't mean to frighten you. I didn't mean to hurt you. You don't understand. There's so little left of me. So little left. And in my twisted face, there's not the slightest trace of anything that even hints at kindness. And from my tortured shape, no comfort, no escape. I see the deep within his utter blindness, hopeless as my dreams lies, as the time flies, love lost is illusion, helpless, unforgiven, cold and driven to this sad
wouldn't have run away. This wouldn't have happened. Well, if you hadn't have frightened me, I would have run away. Well, you shouldn't have been in the West Wing. And you should have controlled your temper. Now hold still. My stay over there. Bye, boy. Thank you for saving my life.
third time, Arthur drew forth the sword. So that must be just the king. Wait and see. Oh, I never knew books could do this. Do what? Take me away from this place. And make me forget for a little while. Forget? Who? What? In the town where I come from, the people think I'm off. So I know how it feels to be different. And I know how lonely it is. For the third time, Arthur drew forth the sword, and there arose a great shout. Arthur is king. Told you so. <laughs> They're still in there.
I'm not sure I can do that. You can kiss a girl, don't you? More than anything. Then why not? I can't. Aren't you just afraid? No. Master. I'm afraid she might laugh at me. Somehow, my friends, you must put the courage to take that chance.
and let her go. What? I had to. After all this time, he's finally learned to love. That's it, that's your first It's not enough. She has to love you in return.
this up. If. If what? If you'll marry me. What? All it takes is one little word. Never. Oh. 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 Fine then. Have it your way. Bring the old man. Let's go. No. No, wait. Ruth, my father's not crazy. Show me the beast. Of course I came back. I couldn't let them back. 